All right, I am at Mount Bain Powell today doing the hike up to the summit of Mount Bain Powell. About eight miles round trip. Oh, it's starting off strong. It's really steep. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. The temperature said that the, I guess the summit's at 50, so right now it's 60 something. And oh, I gotta take a break. It's been less than a minute. Just, uh, it's just really steep. So steep. So hoping for the best. You can kind of see how steep it is based on I'm level right now, so that's pretty steep. Also trying to get used to the high elevation. Been a while. I don't think I've done elevation in anything since Yosemite, so slow and steady. After 1.30, I am about over three miles into the hike and I saw somebody about 20 minutes ago. He was going down and I was going up and he asked if I was hiking alone. I said, yeah, that's a pretty well-trafficked hike. It is Friday, so it's a little bit less well-trafficked. He said, oh, isn't it a little bit too late to get to the summit? And I said, why, what time is it? So I was still on track and I checked it was 120 and I was like, it's about a mile and a half up to the summit, no more than a mile and a half up to the summit. Do you think it's too late? And he said, yeah, he thought it was too late. And I think he was trying to encourage me to turn around and I didn't think it was too late. I, I'm still on track. I, I plan to turn around at three o'clock regardless because I'm planning for a five o'clock sunset. So two hours to descent, four miles downhill with a headlamp and warm jacket is probably fine so i told him i had a down jacket and a raincoat and gloves and a headlamp so i think he felt a little bit about that better about that so i'm still on my way up on the switchback so there's actually a little bit of snow i think it was probably from the storm on monday but it is supposed to be dry there's like zero percent chance of rain but i still have my rain jacket either way if not for rain then maybe for another layer over my down and i purposely sized up so i can put it over the down without squishing the down. Still doing these switchbacks of doom. But I am past halfway. I'm still doing good on time. Uh, the switchbacks actually aren't that steep. There's just a lot of them, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm stopping for a snack break and just check out. So this used to be fly. It was uh, air sealed and the change in altitudes made it puff up. So it'll probably make a little pop sound when I open it. <laughs> so I finished most of the switchbacks and now it's this part where it's a little bit inclined but mostly level and then I think that's the final push to the summit. Like I said, there was a little bit of snow over there is a lot of snow, but I haven't had to hike through any snow, so that's good. So I'm just gonna go through this part, which I think there's probably gonna be some awesome views. I just wanna be careful about my footing here because the slide looks kind of intimidating. So I don't wanna be filming while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna go and then check out the views. Maybe I'll stop and take some pictures, but I'm not gonna be moving and uh, filming at the same time. Immediately I'm rewarded with some amazing views. Wow. Cool. I think this is the oldest tree on the mountain. Not sure. It's supposed to be near the summit, so this might be it. And it looks like there might have been a sign over there talking about that. Let's check out this gnarly double tree. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. 
I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rise in the song to the highest bidder You're never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes So here I'm at the summit of Mount Bain Powell. There's nobody else here right now. So starting to wonder if that guy who said I was summited too late was right. I'm still still doing good on time, I think. Uh, it's going to take me a lot less time to descend than it is to ascend. And it's not very technical except for that one bit that I was a little bit worried about. But I'm going to hit that right now. So I'm not going to walk that in the dark. And yeah, shh. Everything should be fine. I took some pictures, saw the flag. There was a wooden sign and saw the monument over there. It's a very small summit area. Like there's the monument over there. And then, can't see it, but behind me somewhere is with the flag. I don't know if it's even in the shot, but because of the glare. So it's a very small summit area. I'm pretty much done here. I had lunch before I got up to the summit. So I'm really not gonna hang out here too much. It's not that cold. I'm still wearing my regular hiking shirt. It's not hot, certainly, which is a nice difference. But I am feeling the sun is a little bit warm. And it's sun's still super in the sky. I think maybe it's like before 3 o'clock right now. So I'm still on schedule to get to the bottom by 5 o'clock. And that's if I go 2 miles an hour going downhill. So I should be doing good. Considering it took me a little over three hours to hike up to the top, I should be able to make it back to the parking lot well before the two hours end. So I might go read that monument for a little bit, and then I'm just going to start heading down. One perk of being literally the last person on the mountain descending right now. I know nobody's coming up behind me, and uh, I can karaoke, <laughs> which keeps the bears away. So it's for a practical purpose, not just because I like karaoke. Not at all. Two seconds later. Right after I said the thing about nobody else coming up, I passed somebody else going up. So I might see her on the way down if she's descending faster than me. Yeah, we talked to her a little bit. I told her the summit's empty, except for her probably, unless somebody else came up using a different trail, which I doubt because those trails take a little bit longer to get and it's kind of late in the day. So I think she's going to have it all to herself. So... I guess maybe it's start to safer zoom singing until she decides to turn back around and pass me. <laughs> I wanted to do the offshoot for Lamel Springs. And I don't know if this this is supposed to be Lamel Springs, but it's completely dry. The trail does keep going, but I don't really want to go any further. And so just to show you, there started to be like more weeds. So I don't think this keeps going. This might be, it's only supposed to be like one-tenth of a mile. And it feels like I've gotten one-tenth of a mile. So either the spring is completely dry or I it's a little bit further. I don't know. But I don't really need extra water today. I actually got part way up and then I tossed out a liter of water because it was just extra weight and I didn't need it. So I wanted to lighten my load a little bit and I'm nowhere near done with my two liter pack. And I ditched, uh, um, I just dumped the water, I kept the plastic bottle. I just poured out a liter of water because it was just dead weight. And at that point I was three miles up, so I knew I didn't need it anymore. So I don't know, maybe I'll come back in the spring and see if this is actually the spring. For now, uh, this is the end of the exploration part. I'm gonna go back to the main trail and go the, I think it's just a mile and a half down. So, Let's turn back. So about a mile up from this parking lot, there's this bench right here. I didn't sit down on it in the morning because there was somebody else sitting here. But now I get to sit here for a bit and enjoy this view. So in the afternoon, the sun's not hitting the trail. But in the morning, there were spots of sun, which is actually good because it kind of kept me warm. It's still... 
not too chilly. I think there were spots where I wondered about getting the jacket out, but it never lasted long enough that I actually did get the whole kit and caboodle out. So I've just been wearing my hiking long sleeve shirt from, oh, I don't know. I think this one's from Prana because it's the pink one. That's right. It's the Prana one. So this was the one that was a little bit too warm in the summer because it wasn't as breathable, I thought, as the Koo one from K K U H L. That's actually the company's name. So this is perfect for today. Like I'm feeling very comfortable. I'm a little bit sweaty, but not too sweaty. And it's been a good hike. The, the up was kind of hard, but overall, because the descent, and the ascent are kind of short. Like I'm, I'm less than a mile from the parking lot now. I can see the road I drove up on. It's just in switchback format, so it's not too short. But it's all downhill from here, so it's manageable. But yeah, I think I'm done enjoying this view. I'm gonna keep going down. All right, so I am almost back at the parking lot. I think this is really the last hill descent. I can see my car from about like a couple minutes ago. I could see my car and the parking lot from even a little bit further up. So I'm on the final turn. This is Mount Baden Powell. It's number five for my personal Southern California six pack of peaks challenge. So I'm gonna log this and then I have one more peak to do. I'm debating whether or not to do it on Sunday. It's getting, you know, closer in a, into winter. It's like, we're in a fall now, so. The weather's going to be a little bit unpredictable. The last summit I have is at Sitton Peak is probably the one I'll do. So it's lower elevation, closer to the Southern California. Really, the only thing I'm trying to dodge is rain and landslides for that particular summit. So I am back at the parking lot. Cool. There's like almost nobody here. So woohoo! one more done. Oh my god, so I plan to get a vaccine number, a vaccine booster shot after my hike. And I got here on time because I showed up at the wrong CVS. I can't believe I went to the wrong CVS. That was so